Andy Puckett knows the universe. An astrophysics professor at the University of Alaska in Anchorage, he searches space for undiscovered asteroids. I sure hope not. I mean, it's a statistical certainty that it will happen. It's just a question of when it will happen. In general, it's a pretty long shot because it's, it's like a random bullet fired at a small target. If you think about the actual spaces involved, if you see a scale model of the solar system where the sizes of the planets are actually in correct proportion to their distances between them, it's all just empty space. The problem with blowing it up, as I think a lot of people have said in the past, is if you just blow it up, then all the little pieces are in general still moving in the same direction they were. I think it was Deep Impact that tried to split it in two. The, the, the idea was the asteroid was coming down and if you, you could sm cr crack it into two pieces and they would both miss the Earth. You know, they didn't understand it very well and it smacked into the Earth. Say it's a, a, a nice circular orbit around the sun. If you were to slow down the asteroid, it would not be on a circular orbit anymore. It would fall into a, a eccentric orbit around the sun. So the best strategy is know where it is early. And we could even use a fairly gentle deflection strategy. If you put a rocket on the back, blow up a nuclear weapon off the surface, heat up the side so it acts like its own rocket, just the stuff that comes off, the orbit changes entirely. And Earth is saved. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Rivas.